Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using just regular Red Heart Super Saver. It's a worsted weight, four ply acrylic. Now, normally I wouldn't use this for an uh, article of clothing, and I probably really wouldn't recommend it unless you're going to put wear it over a shirt or if there's a way you can soften it afterwards because it is a little stiff. But I'm using it because I just had this big jumbo roll and I just wanted to use it up. And I don't wear usually wear these. I don't wear these clothes that I make. So, but of course you can use it. Um, you can probably put it in a dryer and soften it too. But but any type of four ply yarn that you have will work too. And then I'm going to be using a size I. It's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm making this to fit a size large extra large and you want to start off with a chain of 80 for that now what you want to do is we're going to slip stitch all the way down here into the first stitch to form a ring so without twisting your chain just kind of follow it down I want to make sure it don't get twisted slip stitch into the very first stitch that you made like that and then you're going to chain one and then I'm going to go along putting one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around this entire ring that I just made this is actually we're starting with the, the top of the shirt so this is actually the collar area So one single crochet in every stitch of the chain. I got a knot here. There we go. All the way around. And when you get back to the beginning, you want to have a total of 80 stitches. You want to make sure you keep your stitch count of 80. So I'm going to go ahead and do my one single in every stitch. all the way around until I get back to my beginning. So once you make it all the way around with your row of single crochet, you want to count and make sure you have your 80 stitches. You want to slip stitch into that first um, chain one that we did. So right here in the beginning. And then slip stitch. Okay, now I'm going to start out with a chain one. Now I'm going to go back into this exact same stitch that I just slip stitched into and I'm going to do a V stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and double crochet into that same stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go back through and do another double crochet. Just like that. So it's a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. What that's doing is I'm going to have four of these evenly spaced all around. So it's going to make like four corners kind of. So it'll make like a square looking collar. So now what I want to do is put one double crochet in each of the next 19 stitches. So one double in each of the next 19. So there's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 
15. Sorry if I'm boring you. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and here's nineteen. And now in the next stitch, which is the twentieth, we're going to do another one of the V stitches in the next stitch. So we're going to go through and double crochet, a chain one, a loose, a kind of a loose chain one, and then go back through and double crochet again. So, like that. Now again, we're going to go and put a double crochet in each of the next 19 stitches again. One. Two. Three. Here's 18. And 19. Okay, again in the 20th stitch, we'll do the V stitch again. So we'll go in and double crochet, chain one, and go back and double crochet again in the same spot. Just like that. So now we have another V stitch and another corner made. Again, one double crochet in each of the next 19 stitches. One, two. Okay, I did my 19 double crochet, and again in the next one, we'll do our V stitch again. Double crochet, chain one, go back into the same stitch, and double crochet. Like that. And then you should have a total of 19 stitches left to make it to the end, to make it back to your beginning V stitch. And you want to go ahead and double crochet in each of those 19. Okay, I had 19 stitches left, surprisingly. Usually I have to <laughs> take it all out and do it again, but I had it right this time. So now what you want to do is substitute into your first double crochet here. That's part of this V stitch. Slip stitch into the top of that first one. And this is kind of how the rounds are going to go now. So it's a pretty easy pattern. But we're always going to start in, in the V stitch. So now what we're going to do is slip stitch over into this chain one space of this first V stitch. That way the seam of it is not going to be quite so noticeable. But like that. Now we start again by chain in one. And we want to do a V stitch inside of this V stitch. So we go right through and double crochet, chain one, go back and in and double crochet again. So we just did a V-stitch inside that V-stitch. Now we're going to work our way across, putting one double in every stitch until we get to the next V-stitch. But you want to make sure, it's important, that you get this, you put a double crochet in this first stitch. Sometimes it's hard to see it. You got to pull these stitches back, but it's right there. And you want to make sure you get that every time, or it's just not going to get bigger like it's supposed to. So go ahead and double crochet there. And then it's one double crochet in every stitch until you get to your next V stitch spot. Okay, I made it to my next V-stitch. You can see it right here. And I want to go ahead and put another V-stitch in the center of that V-stitch. So, double crochet, chain one, go back in that same spot, and double crochet. Like that. And again, you want to make sure you get this guy right here. Put one double crochet. Now, in every stitch, until you get to the next V stitch. So it's real easy, and we're just going to keep repeating this all the way around. It's one double crochet in every stitch, and when you get to the V stitch, it's just the V stitch inside the V stitch. Okay, I made it all the way back to my beginning, and you want to make sure you get all these stitches here. And then you just, we're going to slip stitch into our first 
to double crochet like that and if you look at it you can see I kind of always pull at the corners that it's forming like kind of a large square and that's like the collar of the shirt so now every row is just kind of going to be the same and it's just going to gradually get bigger so again you start your row by slip stitching over into the middle of this first V stitch like that and then I start by chaining one and then going back and doing my V stitch in the center of this so I double crochet chain one loosely go back in and double crochet that's how I'm starting each round and I'm gonna work my way around putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the next V stitch making sure that I get this guy because he likes to hide so I'm just gonna keep doing rounds of this until my top part gets big enough that I can start forming the sleeves now you can change collars if you want wherever if you want to make it stripe it or whatever you want to do but each round it's just gonna get bigger and I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm gonna do so I'm gonna keep working and I'll let you know but it's just one double crochet in every stitch except for these V stitch corners we put a V stitch in each one of these four corners every time and then one double crochet in all the other ones and we just start every row the same so it's real easy just keep working in the same process that I've been showing you and I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rows I do okay I went ahead and went around a total of nine rounds of double crochet and you can see that if you fold it this is where we're going to make the sleeves where these V stitches are so now we're going to work on the sleeve area so once you get your nine rows done and I'm back here at my beginning now we're going to do something different here we want to go ahead and slip stitch into the center of this V stitch just like before and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same space and I'm going to do one double crochet like that and now I'm going to do a chain loose chain of eight so there's one two three four five six seven eight and then I'm gonna skip all these stitches here and I'm gonna just jump over here to this next V stitch and I'm just gonna put one double crochet through the center of it so I kind of just I'm gonna after I got my chain I'm just gonna kind of flip my work over and yarn over with that with my chain still on the hook and go into this next V stitch and double crochet like that and that is going to be the armhole now you can adjust this if you want to try it on and you think it's a little tight you can make your chain the number of chains bigger that's fine but it's just done basically it's just done like that the same way if, even if you make your chain bigger and now I'm just going to starting with this stitch here continue around putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next V stitch so we're not doing V stitches anymore it's just going to be pretty much double crochet now most of the way so one double crochet in every stitch until you get over here to your next V stitch okay I made it across here to my next V stitch which is right here now again I just want to put one double crochet through the middle of the V stitch and then I'm going to do my chain of eight loosely and if you did more you just do the same amount you did and again I'm going to do the same thing by skipping all these stitches and double crocheting in the V stitch on the other side so with my chain still on my hook I'm just going to yarn over go directly through 
this V stitch and double crochet like that and then I'm going to work my way across again putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get back to the beginning okay I made it all the way around and I'm back to my beginning so I want to slip stitch into this double crochet I did here in the middle of this piece stitch the very first one and that will close that round out so now I'm just going to be working one double crochet in every stitch from now on so I want to start off again with a chain one and go back into this very first stitch and double crochet and then I'm going to put a double crochet for each stitch of the chain for my sleeve hole and I did eight so I'll be doing eight double crochets and if you decided that you wanted to make yours bigger however many chains you did that's how many double crochet you need now you can go directly into the stitch if you want I'm actually just going to go right through the whole chain and do eight double crochets so there's one two three four, five, six, seven, and eight, and you can kind of spread them across the chain a little bit, get them evened out, I'll do that a little bit better later, and then I'm just going to continue right here in this first stitch, putting one double crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get to my next chain space like this okay I made it back to my next chain space and again I'm gonna do eight double crochet through this whole chain because I did eight chains just want to start again over here with the first stitch one double crochet and every stitch around until you get back to the beginning so that's all it is really from here on out is just one double crochet in every stitch Okay, I'm back to the beginning, and again, I just slip stitch into my first double crochet, and I'm just going to continue around, starting with the chain one, going back into that same stitch, double crocheting, and now I'm just going to work rounds of one double crochet in every stitch until I get the length that I want my top to be. So you can do it for as long or as short as you want. And I'm just, I just make my stuff to fit my mannequin. So I'm just going to keep going and going. Rounds and rounds of one double crochet in every stitch. And I'll let you know how many rows I do here in just one second. Okay. I went ahead and did from the very first row under the sleeves here. I did a total of 20 rows of double crochet. And I just put some stripes in it. But you don't have to. Or you could put a bunch of stripes. It's completely up to you. But if you want yours longer than what I have mine. You can do as many rows as you want. And once you get as many rows as you want. Just slip stitch like you would. To close the round out. And now I'm just going to go around it. The whole thing with the row of single crochet. So I'm just going to chain one. And then I'm going to go back into the same stitch. And single crochet. And I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around here on the bottom. 
just to kind of make it look finished. Just like that. And I'm going to do that all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way around with that row of single crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch into my first, into that, my first uh, single crochet. And I'm going to tie this off and clip my yarn. And I'll hide that tail here in just a little bit. Now I'm going to go around the collar area and the sleeve area with single crochet. Just kind of like we just did. Just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do one single crochet all around the sleeve just to clean up the edges. So just start wherever you want. Just in any stitch. I know that red yarn it kind of really glares off my light. It doesn't look very good in the camera. Sorry if you have trouble seeing it. Okay, just start by chaining one and then going into the same stitch and doing a single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet all the way around. And right here, like in the armpit area where we did all of these, there's not really no stitches that you can see. So you just do your best to kind of evenly space out the single crochets. Like that. I kind of just go between the stitches, like right through that. Right in between the double crochets. Like here's two, here's a double crochet, here's a double. I'll just go right in between them and do a single. And then in between the next two. And do a single. And I'll just do this till I get out of this area. Between the next two, single, just like that, and that just kind of cleans it up a little bit, makes it look a little bit finished, just like we did on the bottom. And you just work your way back up. Putting one single crochet in every stitch. And when you get up to this area of the sleeve, you can see the stitches a lot better. So just one single crochet in every stitch, all the way around the entire length of the sleeve. And then you just slip stitch there and tie off. And you want to do both sleeves the same. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do one single crochet in every stitch around the collar too. Just the same way, just to clean it up and make it look a little bit more finished. Okay, I finished going around the sleeves and around the neck area. And I went ahead and made a flower. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I already have a tutorial for that. Um, it's just a real easy flower. And that's optional. If you want to put that on, you don't have to. But if you want to, I'll put a link to that flower tutorial on the screen right now. That way you can do that if you want. And I just sewed it on with my yarn needle. Some yarn in my yarn needle. So it's real easy. The button in the center. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook.